time now on the programme to take a look at what's buzzing uh, online today. And for that, we're joined here by Nick Rushworth in the studio. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nadia. So you've been taking a look around the internet today. Uh, what have you found that you want to talk to us about? Well, I want to go to China because one of the viral um, images out there is from China with rights groups uh, really angry and outraged by footage of a Chinese company's brutal punishments for its underperforming employees. Now, they are female workers forced to crawl on all fours down a busy road. Um, I won't pay you crawl them crawling, but it is very shocking footage. Um, they did not meet their year-end target. So if you, you and I think we're having a bad week, uh, you can imagine how they feel. Um, this has been taken up by the Hindustan Times, lots of papers in India, lots of papers in Asia, including the South China Morning Post, here, the South China Morning Post, um, they're saying um, humiliation for them. Um, the, um, they, I'll just stop the video there. But ba basically, it points out that um, the person who was in charge of them actually walked, walked ahead of them um, um, as they crawled. Um, and the actual company was actually closed down temporarily uh, when the video was leaked, first of all. Um, so um, netizens outraged as that humiliation uh, was inflicted on them. Some of the comments um, on the South China Morning Post page are, uh, when, when people think of China making progress, and you look at these pictures, does that add up? Um, other comments include, uh, well, capitalism, that's uh, a Western thing, and that's supposed to be about the exploitation of workers, but communism, is that the way um, we, should, we should see communist exploitation here? One comment on the South China Morning Post uh, uh, feed, uh, people's republic and dictatorship of the proletariat, I don't think so. Um, so um, uh, that viral, very, very big in Asia. Indeed, and apparently just women who are expected there. Uh, indeed, yeah, female conditions. workers, yeah. Um, you're going to be sticking then with China for your next story that you've been focusing on for us. Uh, and that's uh, websites there reporting a strange clampdown on um, male pop stars uh, wearing in, uh, earrings on television. Well, for news about uh, China, in, t in terms of rights and all kinds of offbeat stories, one of the places to go is this one, the Shanghaiist, and they've got this story about male um, pop stars' earrings being censored out, censored out on um, the video platform Xi Yi. And there, if you look closely at the two stars there, um, they do have earlobes, but um, if we look a bit more closely, you can see that there's a bit of um, blurring being gone, a bit of uh, photoshopping for the cameras. Now, that's led to the hashtag male TV stars can't wear earrings. Um, the Shanghaiist is saying, could this be the way of Chinese censors saying that there is a crackdown of, of going going on the way already? That apparently there's a, a kind of ban on tattoos in the country um, in terms of what you can see on TV. Uh, let's just take one example of one of the stars. He's uh, Ying Buran, 29. And he's a TV reality show star there. His ears um, perfectly without the earrings. This is um, the actual picture of him back in December uh, with those earrings uh, on. I put the message from one Hong Kong uh, university analyst was that uh, China just does not want to see Western pop uh, styles coming into the country. See, it's extremely creepy, though, isn't it? It's very bizarre to look at. Um, finally, uh, for you uh, then, Nick, you've got uh, one more story for us. It's somewhere quite different now. Uh, an airline, Aero uh, Mexico, in Mexico, therefore, uh, trolling uh, the border wall, wall debate by offering uh, Texican, Texans with Mexican DNA uh, some discounts. Well, it's an extraordinary story. And again, it's, it's making the buzz around the world with Aero Mexico um, kind of cashing in on that border wall dispute, the government shut down. And the story there, you can see Aero Mexico saying that they have had a project where they've actually tested Mexicans in a town called Wharton, um, 300 kilometres north of the border and um, their message is well some of those people in Texans are, are not fully Texan they are also a little bit Mexican 1% maybe or even 22% or more um, and so they're willing to offer people who are in that town um, discounts so for example if you have a certain percentage of Mexican blood um, then you would uh, be able to um, get get the discount to go to Mexico whether they want to or not um, HuffPost there saying this is a hilarious uh, Aero Mexico ad trolling the border wall debate with DNA discounts let's watch the video to get a slice of the action about what the story is about
Would you consider going to Mexico? No way. Let me stay here in peace and let those folks stay on their side of the border. Do you like tequila? Yes. Do you like burritos? Yeah. Do you like Mexico? No. So we did a DNA test to prove it and turn those results into discounts. The more Mexican they are, the more discount they get. You're 22% Mexican. That's That is You are 18% Mexican. Well, that's better than you. <laughs> Sorry, Betsy. You're only 3% Mexican. So the comments there is that, uh, that airline getting the Troll of the Month award, hands down. Indeed, absolutely. Troll of the Month uh, award for them. Going viral, always a good news uh, for an airline. Thank you very much indeed. Nick Rushworth there uh, with Media Watch taking a look at what's buzzing uh, online uh, today.